everyone. Welcome back. Um, it's the first knitting podcast for 2024. Um, I guess we'll start with what I'm wearing. I am wearing, if you've watched any of my videos before, um, I did a vlog of this. This is supposed to be my fiance's Christmas sweater, but I accidentally made it a little too small. So it fits me great. Fits me great. Look at it. Wonderful. Uh, it does not fit him. So now I wear it. Uh, but that's what I'm wearing today. It's uh, self-designed so he picked all of the stitch patterns where they go and where the colors go and then I just knit it uh, but it's knit in pieces and then seamed up so I think we're gonna see a little later when I get to my whips because I have quite a few of them um, but I have some some new whips for him coming up uh, and then my finished object I only have one since it is like middle of January and I'm kind of slow uh, and the, if you watched my last video you saw this it is my evening star blouse uh, that I finished in that video and that was like a, a little project vlog um, I, I'm gonna call it finished because technically I can wear it like this but I did have plans to make a cuff and call cuffs and collar for it because that is also technically part of the pattern pattern but I wanted them detachable and I'm just being kind of lazy about it because it's knitting stockinette back and forth and I just I don't know it takes so long and I just got tired of knitting it so I put it down and I started something else so I'm giving myself a little break before I finish those because it does look cute enough to wear without them so I also had to go to Joann's and get some things because I don't actually have any sewing needles or snaps and I wanted ribbon to cover the snaps if I'm not going to wear the cuffs and collar. So then I had to get ribbon and I just, I don't know. But it's finished. It's cute. I love it. I think, I think it fits really well. I has like a drop shoulder. I knit it bottom up and then I split and I knit the, the top. So I did all of the shaping for the neck and the back um, flat. And then uh, I just picked up and knit the sleeves down. And then I just did a row of, I did some slip stitches, a row of single crochet, and then a row of double crochet around the edge, um, just as like a cute little way to like tie it all together. Um, it also helped bring the, the edges in. Um, I think my gauge was slightly off on my sleeve, but that's fine. So that's the Evening Star blouse, which is a vintage pattern. Um, from the 1950s that I got out of a book. Um, I did also switch it up so it's a DK weight instead of a fingering. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, get that off the needles and I did and I was really happy with it. I love it a lot. I've worn it a few times already. Um, and it's in, also, it's in the it's Palouse Yarn, Palouse Yarn Co. Um, Magruder DK in the colorway Thistle. Um, it is hand dyed local to me so that was also really fun and I had bought five skeins of it it was a hundred gram skein so I bought five and I've got hold on uh, this much left but I still this is this is I have one cup one cup I think if I just put it on bigger needles maybe I'll work longer but I've got one cuff started so I need to do two more and a collar. So I'll probably have a little less than, well, I'll have a lot less than that finished. Um, but that's my finished object for the week. Um, I have some new acquisitions. Like I bought some yarn, but it's not here yet. Um, I am gonna try doing, huh, I'm gonna try doing some stash busting this year. And so we're gonna see. I mean, I did just say I bought yarn, but we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, Fingers crossed I can stash bust a little. And I do have some more yarn purchases, but that is for a specific project, which I will show you now. So, I bought this bamboo pop a while ago. And I was like, oh, I'm going to knit a skirt. And then I realized I don't really like, I don't really want the skirt. I didn't like how it was looking. I was just trying to draft it. I was doing it myself. And I was like, you know what? It's boring. I didn't finish this row. Um, because I messed up. I need to rip this out, but I <laughs> um, had I ripped out the skirt because I said I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I don't. I don't like how it looks. I don't like the bottom up. I just didn't like it. So I ripped it out, and I have 
mentioned I wanted to do something nice for my bridesmaids. Like I wanted to knit them something kind of cute. Um, something they could wear at the wedding, something that would like they could wear outside of it. But like I wanted to have something, you know, like hand made to give them. Especially because a lot of them are they, you know, they're they're driving up they're driving to the venue because they they're not all local. Well, most of them are not local, period. Um, because they have to come back to our college town when we, we get married and I just wanted to have like you know, like a little token. Also, I like to knit, so I was like, I will take any excuse to push myself. So I decided to knit them a shawl, um, and originally my plan was to do this Stephen West hyper, hyper knit along, but I didn't want to use acrylic. I had bought some acrylic because I thought I would use that, but then one of my friends was like, I have some sensitivities to that, like it doesn't it gives her like a little rash and I was like you know what we can just avoid acrylic so I decided to stick to a natural fiber but wool was off the table um because I didn't want to she also has like a mild she has a mild wool allergy and so I was like okay well I want them all to be the same material I don't want to give a bunch of people wool and then you have like something else so I decided that they would all be the same material so I picked bamboo pot which is bamboo pop which is a bamboo cotton blend just because then it's like a lightweight enough um, and also, September in Idaho can be a little finicky with what it looks like and how, you know, all of that kind of, like, what the weather will look like. So I thought this would be the easiest way to, like, give them something that could be maybe a little bit warm, but also a little bit cool, but then not too bad. And so I was originally going to do Stephen West Hyper Knit Along, the Glistening Snowscape Shawl. But I decided against that because I wasn't sure how the lace would look with the yarn I picked. And then I <laughs> read do an I cord cast on and I I don't know how to do that and I just decided that maybe it was better if I didn't maybe it was better if I didn't do that so in an effort to save myself one money because it takes five skeins of fingering weight yarn and I was like listen bestie I love you but I will not be making six of those um I decided to go with the bamboo pop I already had because I had three skeins and I said well they're like what like eleven dollars so even if I need three that's only thirty dollars a person which is still like a lot don't get me wrong that is still a lot but you know it's also bigger than a fingering so I cast on a little triangle shawl here's kind of what it looks like um, this is just one edge so I cast on a triangle shawl and then I did it's just some stockinette some garter and then I'm inserting some lace and all of the lace I'm using is going to be, I thought another good way to personalize it would be all the lace I'm using is the same lace that I'm putting on my veil. So then it's kind of like, oh, we all have like the same kind of lace pattern. And then, and then it gives like a cohesive look even though they're not the same material or weight because mine is a lace weight merino. Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, it's getting along pretty good. It's going pretty good. I had blocked up until here just to see how it would look. And then I decided just to keep going because um, I had 300 grams and I wanted to just be able to like see where it would sit when I was finished. Um, I finished one ball roughly and I have this one which I think is more than 100. So we'll probably just go until I think it's big enough and then call it quits and be done. Uh, but yeah, so I did this really nice one. I think I'm going to have to switch this lace pattern up just because I don't really know if I did it right or if I like it. We can't really see that. Uh, and then I'm doing a feather and fan, but I definitely I definitely messed up the feather and fan, so I'll have to rip out a few rows. Um, I, I didn't read it wrong. I read it correctly and I was doing it right and then I thought it looked wrong, so I added a yarn over, but I think that was one too many. And so now the pattern is off. Like, just the way I'm doing it, I don't know. I, I fucked up. So, we're going to see how this looks. I'm hoping it looks good. I honestly, I kind of like how it looks right now. Um, but, you know, obviously I need to finish it because it's not, it's not finished. This is not long enough. I want it to be able to like drape over their arms well enough that they can like wear it and just be like, it be casual, you know, like not have to have it over their shoulders, but like to be able to drape across their like elbows. Um, so it's obviously not long enough, but that's only been going for like, I think I cast on 
around the first I guess on definitely in 2023 I think but I was like being really slow about it so I'm gonna kick it up into gear and hopefully get it finished by the end of this month uh, when I go to when I when I get to the store next I'm gonna take a look at what they have for bamboo pop because I'm gonna pick colors um, we have the wedding colors already picked so I'm debating between just like doing white on top and then doing like a, an accent color depending um, yeah that's that's what the bridesmaids knit is looking like um and then the shawl the veil is going well oh my god you actually can't see this i did just finish my i think it's called a fern i'm not sure what this lace stitch is called but i just finished five repeats of this and i'm doing some increases and then once i finish that i think i'm going to do the feathered sand stitch that i just showed you um, but it's coming along quite nicely. It's looking quite long, as you can see. Um, but I think the feather and fan might be the last one I do. Um, I want to finish this guy, so I think I'm just going to go until I run out of this. I might do like a garter stitch uh, border, and then I have some mohair that is also Polish Yarn Company. I don't remember the color I bought, but it's like green. It's a green hand dye mohair and I think I'm going to knit a border on to this in the green mohair. I've never knit a border but I think I want some little pointy edges so that when I go to block it it's not like when I don't have like that, sh that plain edge. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look! We're gonna see! Um never done that so first cross for me i guess um my next whip is um not very far along at all i did it for a few days it's a it's a sock it's gonna be a sock um this is the modem mode modem in um yarn it's a fingering weight 100 percent wool uh i am doing the spy no heel spiral sock on Ravelry uh, for funsies. Uh, I just want to see how a spiral sock will work and it is the largest size. I am making them for my father so he's gonna get a pair of socks uh, just to see. Uh, I didn't want to have to like ask him for a bunch of measurements for his foot so I'm doing the no heel spiral because that supposedly is one really nice because then he can't wear a hole in like specific spots he can just keep turning the sock and also then it would make it really easy because I don't have to like get him to try measuring his foot because that's a lot of work and also I don't really feel like asking him to measure his foot so that I can make him a sock so that is kind of like a when I get around to it I'll get around to it I'm not like pressuring myself that's my my casual knit for the week my casual knit for forever basically because I have to make two of them <laughs> and we both know how long the last pair took um and then my last whip is my fiance's Valentine's gift. And you may be saying, girl, be real. You, you're wearing the sweater you knit him and it doesn't fit. Why do you think that you could make him something that would fit? Well, <laughs> besties, that's because it's crochet. <laughs> I um, am crocheting him a little cardigan. So it's gonna go like this. Uh, it is a raglan. I watched a couple videos, read a couple blog posts, and said, how hard can it be? I know how to crochet. Um, so it's gonna look like this. Um, I need to figure out what's going on with the front. I think it's gonna fix itself, but I could be wrong, who knows. Um, maybe I need to be, should I be increasing? I don't know. See, this is the problem. Um, because like when I stand it up, it looks fine. But yeah, um, so I have crocheting him a little raglan top down cardigan. I thought it would be fun. He really, he's getting into cardigans recently. So that's why I thought this would be a great idea. Um, also because I don't have that long so I know I can't knit one fast enough. So I was like, I can crochet. This is one day's worth of crochet. I can crochet him a cardigan before Valentine's Day. Um, and I will try to have a project vlog about this. Um, maybe. We'll see. 
I, I don't know, maybe we'll do a project autopsy and I'll just tell you all the issues I had when I finished it. Um, but I have two of these uh, Lion or Yarnspiration Karen Skinny Cakes. It is a three, which is like a light weight. Um, I am using the suggested hook, which is a G, um, and it's in this this colorway, I believe, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I remember them being the same colorway and then being confused because they're like slightly two different colors, but mm, they look close enough, I think it'll be fine. Um, and it's in the colorway spectrum. I got this on sale a whole long time ago uh, and I have it by two, except the label for this one fell off, so. Can I reach it? I have these two. I think either way they're gonna look fine and honestly I might swap and do this one for the body and do like this one for the sleeves as like a fun little haha -ha, you know I I don't know because like they look like they're two same colors but I swear to god they were like the same colorway that's the crazy bit I don't know why I don't know because like they're close enough they should be like the same no they're very obviously different I don't know. Either way, I'm going to crochet him a little Valentine's cardigan. He doesn't know that I'm making him one, so hopefully he doesn't see this video. I doubt he will. He doesn't watch knitting content. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. And then other than that, it's just kind of like a fun little casual thing. Um, I don't really have much else. That's, that's all I've got. Um, but... Yeah, so I'll see you guys later. That's all I had for my knitting podcast this week. Um, we, we, I will see you next time for whatever I'm doing. I have no idea, but I will talk to you guys later.